Austin is nervous with anticipation over exploring the haunted Windsor Hotel in Georgia, a 24-hour paranormal investigation challenge that will leave all of them freaked out soon enough. A young person once fell down an elevator shaft in the early 1900s, and the place has been haunted ever since. Her ghost has been seen in hotel mirrors. Objects often move on their own. Austin isn't sure if he believes the paranormal rumors until weird things are caught on camera they've left running overnight. Keys and a wallet fall off the dresser while everyone is asleep. Both objects are planted securely on an even surface and have no reason to drop unless it was a ghost or a string. I don't see either so I'm not sure what to think about this video at this point, but things are creepy so far. One of them wakes up and goes over to investigate the bizarre occurrence. What's caught on camera next is downright strange. As they are picking up the wallet and keys, a lamp clicks off. The noise sounds exactly like the button on their lamp. You heard, listen. You can literally hear the flip. Something had to literally physically turn that off, bro. So there's no doubt that a lamp turns on, but the question or not is if it's the one that's in front of them. If there were four beds in this room, then I feel like there would be a second lamp behind them off camera. Maybe they were turning that one off to make the clicking noise. Still an overwhelming number of people agree this is paranormal. 682 to 15 as of the time of this video, and given the hotel's haunted history, I trust in what they saw and wouldn't be surprised if it was real. One of the most fearsome visions of a shadow person ever caught on camera, this clip will have any skeptic questioning things. Originally published by Ghosts of Carmel, Maine, this scary video was captured by its haunted homeowner. As the homeowner enters a bedroom, a full shadow figure is seen sitting on the bed, outlined by the light from the window. The man panics and steps out of the room for a moment. A split second later when he returns, the figure has vanished. Are you convinced of the existence of shadow figures? I am. Alright guys. I'm gonna show you one of the reasons we hate this house. There's a YouTuber named Not Your Average Wife, who apparently does not live in your average home either. Her dog Catherine absolutely refuses to go down the steps leading to their basement. Follow the dog's eyes because I think it might be seeing something down there that none of us can. Catherine, come on baby. Come on pretty. Come on baby. Not even a nudge from behind can convince Catherine to go down the stairs. Come on, Catherine. And just to prove it's not a general fear of steps, they show her using different stairs without a problem. Maybe the dog almost fell down basement steps or something and is now afraid of them. At least, that's the only non-paranormal explanation I can think of. And if it is paranormal, based on how Catherine is acting, it must be something sinister in that basement. Do you hear that haunting melody? It may be the vocalizations of an actual ghost. <sighs> Posted by Charger3933 to the Ghosts subreddit. This clip captures a ghostly song in the abandoned asylum, Eloise Psychiatric Hospital in Michigan, which we've discussed at length in previous Top 15s. Charger notes in the comments that he did not hear the singing during the visit, only afterwards when he listened back to the recording. The Redditor was wandering around the abandoned asylum with a friend when he heard disembodied footsteps coming up the stairs. As he tried to capture the footsteps via a Snapchat video, he heard screaming from a distance. He saved the video and later heard the haunting singing as well. Redditor Wubbelubbadubbadidu in the comments writes, Obviously, we have to take the audio with a grain of salt because it's possible someone was hidden in the building. That being said, I hear the screams and sleep freaky AF. The same Redditor later notes in the thread that the uploader basically caught an EVP. He also remarks that he too hears the footsteps or something moving nearby. 
The uploader states that he tried to stay as still as possible and that he would also consider this an EVP as he did not hear the singing in real time. Redditor quite fast agrees that the singing sounds like a lullaby. The Redditor tried to isolate the woman's voice and added a clearer clip to the thread. <laughs> The humming voice sounds even spookier with the audio cleared up and it's quite fast notes. You can almost hear the words safe and sound. Do you feel safe and sound after watching this video? A TikTok user named Look Dijans For You is obsessed with summoning spirits and this time it really might have worked. He says something in the mirror and then this wide-eyed fiend appears right behind him only to vanish when he turns around. <laughs> At first it looks like it might have been somebody standing on the other side of the mirror but when the light hits them, you can tell they are both in the same room. Later, he is looking down a hall through a hole in the door where the knob once was. I want you to remember the unique shape of this water pattern because it is going to be important later. Okay, so he is looking down the hall. <laughs> A second look through the hole reveals nothing, and when he turns around, he is shocked to find he is in the exact same hall he was just looking down. Water pattern and all, it's like he teleported. Isaac Brumake him feels a bite on his line and pulls up something larger than he ever imagined. It looks like he hooked the shark, but when you watch it again, you'll see the shark was actually going after a much smaller fish. Isaac quickly unhooks and releases the fish before the shark has the chance for a second go. Isaac is so incredibly lucky that the line was behind him and not close to the kayak, otherwise this shark could have practically landed in his lap. Most of the passengers have on headsets and are watching a mid-flight movie, but one of them sees a reoccurring image and takes out their phone. This brief clip is the final instance of what they saw. Floating up from one of the seats is a formless mist that briefly swirls into the shape of a twisted face and disappears. All airlines are smoke-free nowadays, but I suppose that could be another possibility. What do you see here? Posted to the Paranormal Video subreddit, Redditor Upstairs Bicycle 1721 wants some sort of explanation for this mysterious clip. Let's take a look. The mysterious vertical rods hover side by side in front of the camera for a moment before one of them takes off and disappears out of sight. The second figure slowly drifts right until it's out of frame. Nearly everyone in the comments is perplexed by this video. Although I don't think this is a spider web either, I don't have any rational ideas as to what they could be. Do you have an explanation? A man is driving down a haunted road in Hawaii when he sees a pale beige orb on the left side of his camera. No idea what's, what that is on my screen. It looks like a ball of light on the left. I thought it was just his finger until I realized it was semi-transparent and slightly changing shape. I don't know what oh that my, is. Oh my, I is don't that? know what that is. I have no clue. There's nothing there. Watch this part and you'll see there's no way that this is his thumb. His passenger points at something on the side of the right and their hand actually appears in front of the orb. The weird circle continues to hover in the corner for a full three minutes. It does not fade or go away even when they pull over, turn off the lights and step out of the car into darkness. It's still there, it's moving, it's still on the, the left, 
and I don't know what that- If you have any idea how an orb could stay so plainly visible even without a light source, then let me know because I am honestly stumped. And we are hurrying. Luckily our house has sprinklers. When it was built, we've only been in this house for a week and a half. But we're getting everything that's important. And we're getting out of here. This scary GoPro video sounds like the final moments of a family fleeting in terror from their haunted home, but that's not what's happening. Midnight is when Tyson and Haley get a phone call that they have to evacuate fast, not from something paranormal, but a situation just as terrifying nonetheless. Flames are tearing up the mountainside and heading towards their home. Now they have to keep their oldest son occupied and unafraid while not panicking themselves trying their best to navigate around closed roads and other hazards. You can tell the father wants to scream, but he doesn't want to freak their kids out. So this is how he talks. That's not good at all, huh, buddy? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I want to go up there. What will happen if the fire comes to our car? We would turn around and drive away. He's definitely a good father for not scaring his children, but the reality of the situation is, at least from what I can tell, that they are low on gas and stuck in traffic without much control over where they go next. Police are frantically trying to direct traffic and stay in communication with the fire department to guide cars away from the blazing inferno, and it isn't looking too good for them. Eventually, they break away and find a moment to collect themselves at the gas pump. As they watch the inferno in the distance, adrenaline finally wearing off, it occurs to them just how close to being goners they really were. I've never had that feeling or adrenaline rush before. That was crazy. I'm really glad this wasn't the family's final moments caught on GoPro and hope they have some good memories ahead to help balance out this horrifying event. YouTuber Han Kardashian confronts a spirit in this scary video. He and his team see something walking the road of this village in the darkness. They don't get near enough to catch it, but they see it again from the second story of a building. What it's doing in the darkness is anyone's guess. They soon see it again though, this time closer. It disappears from its post and reappears at the far side of the road. What is this being? Is it a spirit? Or something even more sinister? It seems like a spirit to me, but I'd be wary of its magic tricks. Are you ready to spend the night in one of the most haunted places in the UK? Published in May of 2022. Exploring with Josh explores the Skurrid Inn, a place reputed to see high levels of paranormal activity. As the team spends their overnighter in the place, all is still and quiet until... Can you see it moving? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Holy Oh my What the Holy shit. Just Look at how fast oh, my Bro, no bullshit. As they continue to explore the place, gathered in a pack, they hear this noise. See? Oh, man, you are you can't fake that. that. That might be the most amazing evidence in a long time. Well, I'm actually kind of scared to sleep here. Then, as they're downstairs, they hear their music box detecting motion upstairs. When they ask the spirit to step forward, they hear it again. Who is brave enough to go and check it out? Upstairs, one of the crew listens in, relaying its messages to the rest. Norse. Norse. Viking. Leave. Leave. Dude, he's straight up talking about you on God. Dude, this is one of the messages is very clear, and the messages get more pointed. Fool. Fool. It's always devil like this and that. Who's the fool? You all. Oh my god. Tells your name. Unholy. Unholy. 
When the group suggests pulling their crew member out, the spirit becomes adamant. Dude, he said the craziest stuff to us already. Like, we can pull him out. Should we? Yeah. No, don't. Don't. Yeah, we should pull him out. Yeah, pull him out. That was probably the scariest one we've ever had for like SD's message. Now we're getting mixed messages. Does the spirit want them to go or stay? I'd sprint for it. A YouTuber named Black River Fossils is on the hunt for more evidence of a megalodon shark. He gets to do this once a week and he wants to make the most of this hobby on a rainy day in South Carolina. He goes out to a fresh clearing that has been sectioned off for digging. It isn't long before he finds a very small bull shark tooth, but this isn't enough to impress him so he keeps searching. Then sticking partially out of the mud from the fresh rains, he finds what he is looking for. Please behold, please behold. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Hello, nurse. The gigantic black megalodon tooth is serrated on both ends, like the edge of a carving knife. Black River Fossils later measures the tooth and finds it to be a full four and a half inches long. That's not the size of a full grown adult tooth, but looking at it up close, I can only imagine the amount of damage that one of these juveniles can inflict on a human, let alone the thousands that megalodons were known to have. I did look up megalodon teeth online to verify this video, and sure enough they look exactly like this one. For those of you who are interested, Megalodon teeth sell for about $600 on average. This channel was uploading the exact same video for four entire years straight. Then after four whole years, it randomly uploaded this creepy video as of September 2018. As far as I can tell, there's no practical reason for anyone to be doing this. Almost all of the videos had received less than four years in just as many years. I have little doubt that the designer of these videos has some sort of malicious intent because the entire video collection just feels off, especially the latest one. It could be loaded with hidden messages about doing who knows what. Also, I noticed this string of binary code in the description box. If any developers think they can crack it, then please let me know what it says because I'm really eager to find out. This mystery will probably never be solved because all of the videos have been deleted. And if you go to the channel, it simply says this channel does not exist. A popular YouTuber named Shark is brought to this allegedly haunted location. After his friend had a ghost sighting here the last time he went exploring. And this is Marco. This is the guy you saw the ghost, right? Yeah, but I saw the ghost. You actually saw a ghost? A ghost, man. You're not like you're not even kidding? I just kinda wanna come here, see if we see anything paranormal, see if anything's going on, because right when he told me that, I was like, okay, we need to come here. They are approaching an old historic house when a mysterious figure is caught on camera in the courtyard. Push, dude, that's like no, moving. it's moving. Oh, yeah. It's moving back and forth. No, it's moving. Push, zoomed on that. It's like, I, I'm, I'm zoomed in all the way. It's like swaying back and forth. They argue whether or not the mysterious figure is alive and then the object moves, so it's presumably a person. If this was a maintenance worker or a security guard, then they would probably have a flashlight, and they would also probably ask what's going on, not stand in place being as creepy as possible without making a sound, and what happens happens next is creepy beyond all explanation. No. Wait, yo, she's actually moving! The mysterious figure seemingly disappears on camera, although when played in slow motion, it kind of looks like they simply stepped backwards out of the light and into the darkness. Still creepy either way. Literally right here was where it was. Dude, what? There's nothing there. Was that literally just a random girl or something? I don't know what it was. It looked like a it, it kind of looked, it looked like it had long hair, so I, I think it may have been a girl. A ghost girl, to be precise. I don't necessarily see long hair like he claims, but I'll take his word for it. And one minute later, they turn around to see the same shadowy figure now standing in the very place where they were at the beginning of this 3 a.m. video. I think this is probably a paranormal event and most likely a ghost sighting of a little girl like they claim. The ghostly shadow figure doesn't seem much taller than the railing that it's standing beside. And here's a scary moment you probably missed. Watch this window. At 4 minutes and 25 seconds, the light is on. And as soon as they see the figure, the light turns off by itself. It could be a timer, but it's a small detail that makes me think this is not planned and is, in fact, a paranormal event. 
In mythology, jinn are beings that appear in human form and are of a spirit level lower than angels. They have been known to possess humans. It appears one is possessing this boy in this video. An attempt to exorcise the demon is being made. As a man chants, the boy sits in a chair beside him, completely out of it. The boy shakes his head, making demonic voices, while the man continues to chant. He starts to rock with the music, his body shaking more and more. The man eventually puts a hand on his head, and the song stops. The boy is gasping for breath. They spray him in the face with a spray bottle of some liquid, perhaps holy water. The man later continues in his chant, patting the boy and moving him around variously. The boy becomes still and quiet for a while. Not long after, you can hear screaming from the other side of the room. Finally, you can see where it's coming from. Another woman, also appearing possessed. <laughs> Was this boy at last exercised of the jinn, or did it simply just make its way into this other woman's body? A Twitch streamer named Jake is visiting another country and enjoying the downtown nightlife. It's getting really late and he's about to turn in when two girls he's never seen before walk up with huge smiles and start dancing with him. They're acting like they've known Jake for a long time while this guy in grey lurks in the background. Jake doesn't mind the attention at first, but he grows progressively more confused until one of them speaks in English so as not to alert the man nearby. Is it behind you? There's a man? I saw it. She needs to help. You can see he's staring really hard at the women with a serious expression. He's also standing way too close and looks to be within grabbing distance. When he looks over at them again, they try to play it cool by jumping up and down in fake excitement and acting like they don't even notice him. In reality, they are literally too scared to make eye contact with him and they're turning to Jake for help. Jake hangs around for another few minutes until the man wanders off. The girls hug each other out of relief and quickly dart the other way. I really hope this man had second thoughts about whatever he was going to do, but something tells me he wandered off to find an easier target. This kind of video really shouldn't exist anywhere in this day and age, but sadly people like this creeper are still out doing weirdly bizarre things like this. Kudos to Jake for stepping in and putting a stop to it here. This footage comes from somewhere in the Middle East. A group of teenagers are curiously exploring an old school. They go up a flight of steps and pause when they hear a dog whining on the other side of the door. They all run down the steps and gather at the bottom. They're afraid of being attacked by a group of stray dogs now, but they decide to press on and explore the lower areas. The group finds bravery in their numbers and begins to joke and laugh again as they make their way down a long hallway. They open a door and find graffiti on the wall. Other people had been here before them. Maybe this place isn't so bad after all. The teens grow a little more nervous as they continue to poke around. They are laughing less and starting to go silent. Something just isn't right about this section of the building. A YouTuber named Zobin Jaguar translated their comments. He says at this point one of the teens say that their phone shut itself off even though it was fully charged only a moment ago. Another person was able to keep recording, though they probably now wish they hadn't. They enter one classroom in particular and get a dreadful feeling. Suddenly a figure actually appears out of thin air and walks towards them. The ghost is missing his head, but there's somehow no blood. A loud chanting begins as soon as the ghost walks towards them, but this may be prayers from a nearby mosque. Amazingly, the group all appears to have missed the ghost, which explains why they calmly continue to keep exploring. They wouldn't see the apparition until much later. But when they did, they would never forget what was heading straight towards them in that room. Leviathan published this video on February 18th, 2016, writing, In March 2015, I went on a hiking trip in the woods of Monrova, Czech Republic. He said after a few hours of walking, he suddenly heard some strange sounds coming from south of him. While walking through a mossy wooded area, he hears a sound echo throughout the forest. The camera shot moves towards the sound, and the fearless hiker decides to enter deeper into the forest to investigate. 
he comes across some tracks that look Bigfoot-esque in the shape of human feet, only bigger. Deciding he'd rather live than come face to face with this creature, he gets the heck out of Dodge. But as he's leaving, the strange call is heard in the forest again. It's almost like the wind is screaming, but the day is absolutely calm. On the way back to his car, he claims that he heard the noise the whole way. While guesses as to what this creature might be range from Bigfoot to werewolves, one thing's for certain, stay out of the forest. These fishermen were casting into the ocean waters of Palm Beach, Florida, when a massive potential megalodon shark comes straight at their boat. The gigantic shark is easily the same size as their entire boat and could flip them if only it knew how. The sea creature faces them head on and gives the fishermen a great view of its goliath physique as they have a tense standoff. Then it quickly snatches up the bait and retreats back to the depths below. It's hard to make out a lot of detail because there is somewhat of a glare, but I have little doubt that this video is real. Let me know if you have any idea as to what kind of shark this could possibly be. But your footage was shot somewhere in an underground sewage system. The cameraman is presumably a maintenance worker who is wearing a chest cam. Little did he expect to find a humanoid down there with him. The video begins with the cameraman seemingly frozen in place. The camera is very still as if the maintenance worker is too afraid to move. Maybe he heard a noise and is waiting for a creature to reveal itself. Suddenly a pair of floating eyes peer at him from the distance. The eyes appear to belong to some sort of nocturnal predator. They reflect so much light that all you can see are two gigantic white dots that are roughly as wide around as flashlights. The humanoid does not appear to have much experience with humans and seems apprehensive as it peers around the corner. It decides to run away and the cheap camera cuts out before we can see any more of the chase. The creature seems incredibly fast and probably got away, but exactly what happened next is anyone's guess. The video footage survived, so the cameraman probably did as well. Then again, maybe they recovered it from his dead body instead. There's just not enough information out there to say for sure. This live interview was taken somewhere in South America. Only when the footage was later zoomed in and enhanced were they able to discover something strange in the background. Bueno, básicamente en eso hemos sido este, convocados para la realización del. Bueno, básicamente en eso hemos sido este, convocados para la realización. What looks to be some sort of extraterrestrial creature with arms that are as long as its legs can be seen casually walking towards them. Its motives are unknown, but it does not appear to be alarmed or threatening. If this isn't CGI, then this is certainly a once-in-a-lifetime occurrence captured live. While out on his porch, this young man spots two green eyes peering back at him from the darkness. Published in June of 2020, Jimmy Reynolds lives near the edge of the woods, so it would be safe to assume that any number of woodland creatures are nearby. But what kind of creature is this? He approaches the eyes in the darkness, speaking out to it. See, there it is. Hey! Oh, what the f***? You'll see that. But as he gets closer, it apparently runs off. Jimmy thinks it could be a cat or a dog, but people in the comments are of the opinion that it's something much larger. Some say it's a skinwalker or a crawler. Others say it could be a forest ghoul. Cat Anonymous writes, It's probably stalking your house for food. Not sure if it eats humans. In any case, this dude better lock his doors. Everyone has a smartphone nowadays. This means that at a moment's notice, any scary encounter with a stranger can be caught on video with the press of a button. YouTuber Savage Squad 1 published one of these scary stranger encounters in November of 2016. He wrote in the video's description, Sorry if I didn't film the whole thing, I was running. 
Running from what? The footage starts in the middle of things and shows a group of teenage boys gathered on top of a children's toy at a park. A woman is seen approaching them in order to confront them. One of the boys apparently had said something rude. So rude that she felt the need to threaten him with a knife. Although the video didn't capture the entire encounter, it appears as though one of the boys said something about how he himself was raised. He badmouthed his upbringing and his parents. The woman mentions this and then says to remember that people carry knives. You gonna hide? Are you gonna stay up there? God, you were raised pretty bad, weren't you? I don't think so. I would think so. Yeah, so remember that people carry knives. Uh, I didn't. And when you keep talking about your own parents. And she pulls out her little switchblade to remind them. But once it is out, the video ends. We don't know if there was a big showdown or not, but from what the uploader said, the kids ran away. Can you blame them? Are we being possessed by shadowy forces without even knowing it? Posted on Blah Blah's channel in January of 2022, this scary video is trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community. The footage shows a woman walking a dirt path along a hillside overlooking a city. She is carrying a bag and she's alone. As the cameraman follows a short way behind, a mysterious and barely visible dark figure comes toward the woman on the path. The shadow figure runs right at the woman, but she doesn't notice it and continues on her way. Did the spirit possess her? Well, this captured our imaginations. As it turns out, after doing some research, I found the video is VFX produced by YouTuber Dark3. Still, the image will prompt you to look over your shoulder the next time you think you're alone. You never know what's behind you until it's too late. YouTube channel The Paranormal Road Trippers were sent on a mission by followers to check out one of Canada's most haunted roads. With our driving experiment of up and down the road, we did not see any ghost dogs nor did we see a ghost woman. We've sped the video up as we tried the experiment a total of four times. Though the YouTubers did not encounter either the lost lady or the ghost dog, they completed a second experiment. It's based on a story we've been told that if you leave the keys of the vehicle on the hood with your car turned off, that someone, specifically a girl, will come and take the keys off the hood of the truck. So we're going to try that out. And something unusual happened. <laughs> oh my what happened? So while we were My door just opened. Has the ghost woman had enough of their experiments? Well, I'm not sure if a door falling open is enough to prove this place is haunted. I'm getting some super creepy vibes from this place. I'd keep off keeping road if I were you. This one's a head scratcher. TikToker Elkakoi.tv shares this mysterious video that's a total nightmare. Watch around the side of the door. Is that? What the f was that? At first, it looks to me like a ghost peeking out sideways at the guy, but TikTokers are floating other theories as to what the heck that was. Bro, what was that? Well, I think Cap like Caleb could be right that it was this mirror. It's the reflection in the mirror that's throwing people off. That could be anything, but to me it looks like someone covering their abnormally large face with their hands. What do you think it is? In this creepy video, ghost hunter Luan Mendez and his team are investigating this spooky abandoned building. Oh, as they approach, one of the crew sees something, but what they find is not meant to be found. Opa! Tem alguém aí? Ó, tem gente aqui, irmão. Calma, calma, calma.
Lost them all. Despite the freaky scene they enter, and they soon regret it. Morcego, morcego. Oh, oh, yeah. After being bombarded by the bat, the team later hears a noise in the abandoned home. They look around to find its source. Of course, they flee, but the mystery of the figure draws them back in. Oh. Olha o prego, ó. Eu falei que que eu me rasguei, irmão. Que o prego aqui, ó. Tá doendo meu braço, velho. But the hooded figure has now disappeared. It appears to me as though the crew walked straight into a ritual of some kind. But what type of ritual is the million dollar question? This footage captured some bizarre unidentified flying objects over Mexico City in May of 2009. Let's take a look. The orderly linear lights disperse. From there, things get chaotic. Still, they seem to be traveling in sync. A closer look shows they're blazing. Then they get lost in the clouds. Soon they're back in an orderly line again. Well, some say this is an optical illusion. Others call it the best UFO evidence they've ever seen. I also think it's quite compelling. It looks like a mothership hatching smaller aircraft. Okay, this video is bizarre and just plain really weird. A kid on YouTube named Nature the Bee is making a random video about his cat. Little did he know that he caught a mysterious figure on camera. And that's the end of the first trailer. I hope you've enjoyed. Creeping around the house is a strange, ghostly apparition. It was not part of the skit he was doing at all and really has no place being there. Plus, the way it looks from behind the corner is beyond creepy. You can see some more scary stuff when you zoom in, like a freaky frowning face that the uploader thinks could be a ghost or a demon sighting caught on video. I think this video could be edited, but if not, then I'd say his house is definitely haunted by something paranormal. A survival YouTube channel called Funky Prepper thinks they've caught a real ghost sighting caught on tape in the middle of what would therefore be a creepy haunted forest. He is talking about a tent that he likes to use. When a pale ghost creeps through the woods behind him, it's not dust, it's not lighting. That's either a computer animation or the pale white outline of a ghost. Now here's the thing. The ghost encounter just so happens to occur in the middle of a sales promotion. So while this very well could be a genuine ghost sighting, the timing is a bit too much of a coincidence. It makes you think this apparition caught on tape could instead be a clever viral marketing video. What are you afraid of? What can really make you scream? This entry was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The user explains that the clip was found on TikTok. Footage shows a guy sleeping at 1.16 in the morning with the text. He snores so loud. According to the video, the next night is shown subsequently. 
This time, the man is sleeping in a very awkward position, with his arms up in the air. Even stranger, the drawer from the bedside table appears to open of its own accord. A short time later, the man is in a new position, and as he turns over, if you focus on the nightstand, a bottle slides strangely sideways, falling on the floor. The man appears to be suffering from some evil spirit being exercised, as his body contorts aggressively on the bed. I don't know, this guy's just being a asshole. Do you want to shut the Stop. Hey, what the f Whoever is taking the video leaves the room, and when he returns, the sleeping man is kneeling in the corner. What's going on here? It is suggested could just be night terrors. Others lean more towards the paranormal, however. They suggest the man is possessed. What do you think? Paranormal activity? Possession? It is certainly baffling, and I think we need more footage to fully solve this mystery. If you ever find yourself swimming with the fishes, you'd better hope they're not piranhas. The bite force of a black piranha is incredibly powerful. It's three times as strong as an American alligator, and 30 times stronger than its own weight. Point being, no dentist would want to work on these chompers. This video shows just how effective a piranha bite can be. Published in May of 2011, this bite test was administered in Ecuador. Holding a piranha in one hand and a stick in the other, the man brings the stick near the piranha's mouth and the fish easily and instantly snips like a pair of scissors. There's no question about it, if given a chance, the seemingly innocent fish will take more than a bite out of you. It may take a limb. Everyone knows seedy stuff happens under bridges, and YouTuber Last Leaf Studio found evidence of this in July of 2016, posting a video entitled, Some Creature Creeps Under the Pedestrian Bridge in Kiev. The footage shows traffic passing by on a highway in Ukraine's capital, as the cameraman is posted alongside a pedestrian walkway. Scanning the scene, the camera lands on the pedestrian bridge overhead. Look closely here. Beneath the bridge, you can see a large creature, apparently somehow holding onto the underside of this bridge, creeping across it bit by bit. You can even see its limbs move as it makes its way across. At first in darkness, the figure makes its way towards the light. A close-up of the creature reveals that this figure is distinctive. Its outline and limbs seem to be that of a human, or at least that of a humanoid creature. But what human can traverse the underbelly of a bridge like that, and why would they? The other option is that it's something with an immense amount of strength. What do you think it is? Filipino YouTuber T-A-B-I-A-P-O has captured a real Sigbin on camera in Barangay Sanko. After finding evidence of the creature, they come to the edge of this tall grass. And guys, pinawag na natin yung mga elemento. Tignan natin kung lalabas nga yung hapon. That's when they see this. Ito na yung sinasabi ko si Pin, guys. Nakita nyo? Ayan, no? The creature has black fur. You can't even discern shades of color. He looks like a shadow himself. Then it starts coming toward them. Para pupunta siya dito. Alis ko, alis ko ah. O yan, dyan ka lang. O mga katabs, tingnan nyo ah. Agisan ko ng dapag na may orasyon. Apparently, these leaves are protection. What do you think of the Sigbin? To me, it looks a bit like a monkey with large bat-like ears. Its complete darkness also instills paranormal fear of the unknown. All I know is, I don't want that thing feeding on my shadow. A TikToker named Rosie43201 says that this curtain started moving by itself while she was all alone. Since her cats are not close by and the air conditioner isn't on, the only explanation I have is that there's somehow a draft coming in through the window. 
If that's not the case, then I have no idea what could be moving this. And if she doesn't feel alone like she claims, then I'd say there's a strong chance that this is a real ghost in many of these drone on human encounters. The drone is more the predator than the prey, but in this encounter, the drone operator is kind of both. Jacob Vetter, who published this drone footage in May of 2015 and claims that this crazy lady was doing weird stuff on his porch. In the video, you can indeed see a woman on a porch, dressed with her t-shirt overhead, when she spots the drone up above. She does as most people on this list have done. She tries to knock the drone out of the sky. First, she uses a stick. That doesn't go over so well. Then, she tries plush dice. That doesn't work either. Next, she is seen swinging what appears to be a black purse, but she doesn't throw it. Instead, she puts it on and leaves the yard and paces back and forth waywardly on the sidewalk. It's uncertain what she's waiting for, if she's waiting for anything at all. Finally, she gets on her bike that's been parked on the sidewalk all along, and she takes off rather clumsily, circling around the yard, then jutting out right into the road. It appears that she's definitely on something. What, we can only guess. But the biggest question is, what was she doing on this guy's porch in the first place? Snapchat filters are designed to recognize faces, so what does the app see here in YouTuber Sarah Grab's apartment? Open your mouth. Snapchat is recognizing faces all over her home, and they're not there. She later experiments with another filter. On this side of me? Okay. Don't move. And another filter. But you see how it does that? It makes you, like, big blockheaded and stuff. See? And another one. It's your mouth as your eyes. So your mouth is where the tan wall is, and oh, there you go. When you open your mouth, you do it. See? And even one more. So there you go. Wait, do that again. Open your mouth. This one gets scary. Okay, so open your mouth again. The invisible face often appears at this angle against the wall. I feel like it could be misreading those picture frames as eyes and a nose, but others aren't so sure. Open your mouth. Yep, open your mouth. And again. Open it. I guess even ghosts like to snap. This video is from a camping trip that Emery Buckner and his friends took back in 2010. After introducing each of his friends by name, something catches Emery's eye. He zooms in on a small clearing in the woods that's just up ahead, and that's when he sees it for the first time. Guys, what is that? I think it is. I think I think it's, night. What's what, brother? Really? Seriously, guys. Really, I seriously saw something over there. Tom. None of his friends manage to see it, but Emery encourages them to stay still and keep looking. Then, sure enough, the red glowing eyes return. Guys? What? Oh my god. What is that? Dude, oh my that's god. it. That's it. I t oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Uh, oh my gosh. What is it? They waste little time retreating to their boat and speed away to safety. But just before they take off, Emery catches the creature a final time. It's now casually observing the group. While well, perched in a tree, its head cocked to the side, its faint outline barely visible behind a pair of glowing red eyes. This video is harder to find than a PS5 before a school teacher in Swinton, Louisiana apparently leaked this creepy CCTV video of an alleged ghost sighting at 3.30 a.m. The video shows a spectral pair of eyes floating in midair shortly after the alarm system goes off. I want to know whether or not this ghost sighting could actually be a cobweb up close. 
With that said, the reason this video is so creepy is because this school has an advanced infrared security system. I don't think a spider web would be enough to set it off, but maybe some security camera experts can chime in and let us know. The extraterrestrials have come for the commander in chief. This video, shared by Redditor ExpensiveAd1774, was captured over Washington, D.C. Whoa! Look, they move, look how they move. Three red lights appear in an overcast sky. At first, it appears they could belong to a triangular spacecraft, but the lights seem to shape shift over time. I knew what I was going to see this morning today. That's the same thing that we saw across that bridge. They are here. Many in the comments say they've witnessed something similar. What could this be? I don't think this is a set of drones. Washington DC is understandably a no drone zone, but with so many in the comments encountering similar unidentified flying objects, I've got to believe there's either some logical explanation or we really are being monitored by extraterrestrials. Being a pilot can seem like a glamorous job, but sometimes it's downright terrifying. YouTuber Don MCL1 published this video in October of 2006. The clip shows a jet taking off from a runway, but soon sirens start sounding off while the aircraft's nose points skyward. T6 NL. T6 NL. Lots of talk back and forth over the radio is indecipherable. The nose then pans sideways, clearly indicating the aircraft is out of control. Over the radio, you can hear someone mention engine failure. Right before someone says eject, 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 as the nose of the plane turns downward. Shortly after, the plane nose dives and the footage scrambles. While the description of this video doesn't reveal much about the incident, Kiwi Jet Pilot in the comments section appears to be quite knowledgeable about what happened here. First off, he clears up the description of the plane, saying it's not an F-16 but a Canadian-flown British-built BAE Hawk. He states that this occurred in May of 2004 in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, during a UK Royal Air Force crew training mission, but this video shows they survived by the skin of their teeth, a little too close for comfort. Ghost Tales published this video in 2013. The description reads, Dog senses a ghost in the room. Captured on film is the ghost actually throwing the ball. The clip begins with a doll just staring into the living room, then all of a sudden she starts barking. She retreats into the kitchen, where her owner stands filming the strange event. The dog heads slowly back into the living room, sniffing around. She creeps back in, lifting a leg tentatively as she peers out into the living room. There appears to be something draped on the table and the dog starts barking towards it. The dog then picks up a ball it found on the floor and then gets distracted by something else she found on the floor. Then she hears a noise that makes her spring and stare at the thing on the table again. She sniffs around it and is distracted again by the ball. Although the dog in this video does seem to be spooked by something, it doesn't appear as if the ball was thrown at it. As the author claims, but if you see it in this clip, let us know in the comments. Spirits seem to love to announce their presence by turning the lights on and off. Before we had flashlights, it was oil lanterns and candles. The scary phenomenon continues in a haunted house in South Wales when a spirit is told to show a sign.
you need it on now? Startled, they investigate the incident by asking the ghost to communicate through this light. It's hard to tell from this creepy video if the flickering is a faulty wire or paranormal activity. A strange grin across his face at 1 minute and 47 seconds is a difficult response to read. A scared and nervous reaction is probably it. He's really being brave. Only a true ghost hunter can smile through their fear. After receiving a movement notification on her Nest camera while on vacation, Redditor Delta9 Junkie found this and posted it to the ghost subreddit. Watch for the strange morphing shadows. And a moment later, this happens. It looks like a shadow mist seeps out from under the kitchen island. Although I'm at a loss, Reddit has its theories about how that type of shadow might have been cast. Well, I might go with the dishwasher steam theory. The Redditor says the dishwasher wouldn't have been running since they were on vacation. Others point out that you can see whatever is being reflected on the shiny cabinets as well. So if you're looking for the best logical explanation, an insect crawling over a light source seems to be the winner. But I don't know. I wouldn't rule out a paranormal anomaly. Kriparian is live streaming some Hearthstone when he gets into a scary Twitch moment that has his subscribers screaming that there's a ghost in the window. The unknown person leaves for a bit and then comes back only to open the door and help himself to something right by the door. Within three seconds, he is gone again. She worries my bag. Where's the bag? Knowledge is... His girlfriend goes out to investigate and finds them with the bag in one of the other rooms. They told her they thought it was theirs, but it's pretty clear from the sarcasm. In Kriparian's reply that he doesn't believe them at all. Oh, they thought it was their bag. Oh, yeah. So this is one of the most popular and often talked about scary Twitch moments in the history of the platform and yet a lot of people still don't know the full story. He was at a gaming event and apparently the person at the window was another live streamer who was actually hanging out with them earlier. If you look really closely, he does seem to put his hand up and knock on the glass at 25 seconds to try and get their attention. Nobody hears him though, so rather than disturb the live stream any further, he quietly opens the door and takes what he thought he left behind. I really doubt that anyone would be foolish enough to take something from a popular live streamer who is blatantly live streaming to thousands of people. So it seems like a simple case of miscommunication that was later blown way out of proportion by the internet. It's 3am and a YouTuber by the name of KG Talik is ready to summon the spirit of Bloody Mary. He turns out the lights and calls for her, with nothing but a plastic hair pick on the counter to defend himself with. Upon the third recitation of her forbidden name, he sees movement from the corner of his eye. Something on the other side slaps and scratches at the shower curtain and then promptly vanishes. He shows the bottom of the tub to prove it's really empty. It takes all of his courage to stay in the room and resume the ritual, but he doubles down and says her name three times again. This time, she is even madder than before. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. What the f Yo! The shower curtain rustles as if someone is waiting on the other side, but when he pulls it back, once again, no one is to be found. A person is making a video in the woods about their fort when they catch something bizarre that leaves them screaming in horror as they run away. An unknown creature charges at them on all fours. At 45 seconds, you can see its arms are as long as its legs. In other words, not proportionate to a human at all. This video, taken in Texas, looks like it could be one of the many rake sightings that have recently been popping up again across the world. Most rake sightings show the creature screeching from afar. 
If that is what's captured here, then this video shows how quiet it can be for the element of surprise. The grounds where a double life taking has occurred is no place to be at night. The guys in this video learn that the hard way. Published to YouTube by the Valspire family in October of 2017, this ghost investigation has all the right ingredients for fear. A storm, an abandoned house at night in the middle of the woods, and a Ouija board. The host, Aiden, says the house has a super creepy backstory and is said to be haunted. The story goes that two male lovers built a mansion up in the woods. As such things weren't accepted at the time, the men had their lives taken in this home. The suspects received life sentences in 1982, but the fact that the police investigation turned up occult tools and books, along with the macabre decor of the home turned the event into a media circus. The men were labeled devil worshippers. And now back to this video. The ghost investigators leave their house at midnight in a storm, planning to arrive at Corpsewood Manor at 3 a.m. They drive into the woods and then set out on foot on the path, not sure where they are, ready to get lost. They arrive at a fork in the road and finally find their way to the abandoned manor. Aiden hears a grumbling, which he admits may be thunder. I heard like a grumbling, but that might have been thunder. He says that his camera, with its full battery, keeps shutting off every time they attempt to start with the Ouija board. At 3 in the morning they begin, asking the Ouija board if anyone had their life taken there. Nothing happens, but they do hear something in the vicinity. Aiden says that he wants to go check it out and thinks it sounded like someone walking. I heard someone over there. Very good. Jared is freaked out, hearing another sound in the trees. He thinks it was probably the wind. Dude, I heard something. No, you did not. They decide to leave because Jared can't take it anymore. Can you blame him? Aiden recalls that when he sat at the Ouija board and opened up the portal to the spirit world, he forgot to say goodbye, and he claims that ever since then, weird stuff has been happening. All I know is that place seriously seems haunted. This place just might be haunted by something nefarious. Published by Humble Pet Supply in October of 2018, the store's security camera footage reveals a series of creepy incidents that cannot be explained. The first involves a package falling off a shelf on its own. The shop attendant continues to shelf items and then heads over to put the package back. A moment later after she walks away, the package falls from the shelf again. This time it also moves across the floor a bit on its own. Another clip shows a cat named Diego pacing the shop. An incongruent shadow cat appears in the light from the doorway. There don't appear to be any other cats in the store but the real and the shadow one. In a third clip, another package falls from its place and moves strangely across the floor. It drifts slowly until it catches Diego, the cat's attention. As the cat approaches it tentatively, the package moves, causing Diego to jump. The cat paws it for a second before he decides he wants nothing to do with this. The package continues across the floor on its own. Is this perhaps the shadow cat playing around with the real one? Seems pretty catty to me. This YouTuber isn't sure if deep web mystery boxes are real or not, so he buys as many of them as he can as an experiment of sorts. Sure enough, some of them don't have anything weird inside at all, while others look as though they were packaged by a complete psycho. Take this dirty stuffed animal that's been stuffed with even dirtier stuffed animals for instance. In the very last one is a pill container, presumably for smuggling purposes. The creepiest package of all is full of abused dolls. It looks like it was made by someone with serious problems. You can see how they cut off the doll's fingers one by one here. Then they made this children's pop-up book filled with occult symbiology. Ow. Oh. No, no. Then they are about to throw the whole box away when suddenly a yellow Teletubby doll with a burnt face grabs their attention. Listen to the sound it makes and tell me how this noise is even possible. At this point he's seen enough and decides not to open any more boxes. 
The only problem is at least several more are heading to his address in the mail. It's well documented that creatures in the deep ocean are mysterious and terrifying, but will not often cross paths with such creatures due to the depths they inhabit. However, rarely do we imagine what the muddy waters of our rivers are hiding. Published by Kiwi TV on YouTube in April of 2016, this river in China is hiding something frightening. Marine life that looks partly hippo, partly dolphin, partly crocodile, and wholly terrifying was caught on camera while being poked and prodded by a garden tool. The large river dwelling creature doesn't move much while being examined, nor does it appear to see much, as it seems not to have eyes. An anonymous YouTuber suggests it's a type of river dolphin. However, it doesn't look much like the Baji, a river dolphin that was believed to have gone extinct in the early 2000s. While that sighting was not altogether confirmed, this additional footage may suggest the aquatic mammal is, in fact, alive, though the population has been shrinking since the 80s. The Baji appear to have a longer and narrower bill, while the strange one caught in this video features a wider bill, no eyes, and lots of body splotches and patches. Is this a deformed Baji? If not the Baji, what other type of aquatic creature might this be? The origins of this video are mysterious, and the footage even more so. Published to YouTuber Chibonk182, the short clip is entitled Kuyang Dayak. The video shows what appears to be a beast human behind a cage. The creature seems to have an animalistic body, although no animal on Earth has ever looked like this. <laughs> While its ghost white face is that of a human male's, with long, shaggy brown hair, the face looks perturbed by chit-chatting of the onlookers, to say the least, but it just continues to lie there on the blue-flowered sheet, its limbs moving slightly. Also known as the Krasu in Cambodian mythology and Krasu in Laos, the Kuyang spirit is ubiquitous across the folklore of Southeast Asia. The figure appears with the head of a woman, with its internal organs trailing below her. Is that what it is meant to be? If not, then what in the world is it? A thing of myth and legend or not? This clip does one thing right, it makes you shudder in horror. Gemma Mueller is snapchatting when her filter detects the presence of a ghost standing directly in front of her. The incident is so brief that it would have been easy to miss if she had not circled the face for a better look. All of the times I've seen Snapchat misidentify a face was when it was somebody on a magazine or in a painting. I don't see how Snapchat could ever possibly detect a face in the flower pattern of her clothing, so I don't think this is a software mistake, though I guess that is possible. The face shows up a single time and never returns, further evidence that this was an actual spirit and not Snapchat acting up. This video was supposedly taken by a robotic camera while surveying an old oil tanker. A school of fish briefly swims in front of the camera and suddenly one of the fish gets nailed by a spear in front of the camera. Something fast swims by to collect the fish shortly after. Many people believe that this video demonstrates the possibility of some kind of advanced sea creature who uses tools to hunt. After all, there's no reason for a person to be this far underwater hunting with a spear, and whatever moves in front of the camera is too fast to be a person. Of course, the obvious answer is CGI, but I would love to get your thoughts. One day, a YouTuber named Pedro Ruiz has an idea for the ultimate YouTube video. The point of this video is, I really just want to see if a 50 caliber bullet can go through a book. He convinces his girlfriend Mona Lisa to unload a firearm into his chest at point blank rage while he holds nothing but an encyclopedia in front of himself for protection. Listen to the worried noise she makes here at the end of his request. Clearly, she doesn't think this is a good idea. Let's do it. Shortly after making this intro, Mona Lisa points at Pedro and hesitates. After being reassured numerous times by her boyfriend that he will be okay, she fires around straight through the book, which then goes into Pedro's body. 
He perishes shortly thereafter. Mona Lisa was sentenced to 180 days in jail for making this video, but I want to hear your opinion as to whether this was a fair sentence or not. At times it seems as if she was clearly uncomfortable with doing this and was almost forced to go along. I think this next video is just a man in a suit, but I wanted to get your opinion. They move fast for a supposedly large humanoid, and the way they run looks like a smaller person inside of a costume that doesn't weigh much. They run with their arms up until they remember what they're doing and let them hang a little. Also, I'm not a cryptid expert, but I think something this large would probably lean forward when it runs instead of standing straight up. This cryptid finding thermal imaging drone manages to detect the heat signature of a cryptid walking through the forest late at night. It looks somewhat convincing at first, except for one glaringly obvious flaw. At 8 seconds, the arms become really floppy, and I think they are forearm extensions sometimes used as a theater prop. The suit itself looks good except for the arms, which look really thin, especially at 14 seconds, and stick out at a weird angle from the elbow. So while I have my doubts about this one, there is one thing I can't explain. It does seem to be giving off a heat signature, which I don't think someone in a costume could do. It should be almost all blue since the outfit has no circulatory system. Aldo's World TV doesn't know what to expect when he and his friend Amir take a drone into the woods from the safety of their own car. Where am I? Right there, right there. There's like something... I'm sorry. I think it's a coyote. There's like something in the trees. Right there, you see it? It's right there, it's right there. I literally don't it's like moving, it's right in front of you, right there. Oh sh It's moving, right? They aren't able to go far off the trail because of the thick tree line, but after a while they do see a mysterious creature down on all fours that looks straight at them. It has beady dark circles for eyes and porcelain skin that matches the description of a skinwalker. But when they get closer, it just looks like somebody in a white skin suit on all fours. At least that's what I see. I don't know why they didn't just fly up higher for a better view and maybe follow it back to its hideout. Instead, they for some reason go back to the car and don't report it to any park officials, which doesn't seem realistic to me. But if I'm wrong, then I wonder what it was and if it was near the trail to prey on someone passing by. Bruce Austin 3D takes his drone to Stony Point Park for some train spotting and promptly gets confronted by a large number of angry insects. This is near the same location where a boy was once hospitalized by a swarm of bees while riding his bicycle, and this is probably similar to what he saw as he pedaled for his life. I was surprised by just how large they are, more like the size of a full-grown wasp than the ones I'm used to seeing. Someone tell me what variety these are, because they followed his drone for a long distance and were highly aggressive. Here's a clue that might help. Their venom is so powerful, he touched his face after handling his drone, and venom from the bug guts burned his skin for 15 minutes of agony in his words. Here's a scary drone video that I don't see any way to fake. Stromedy heads deep into the bayou to see what kind of creatures would even be strong enough to survive. The swamp water is almost impossible to see down, and they're starting to think they might not find anything at all. But just when they're about to give up, they find what they're looking for. That's actually an alligator right there. Yeah, right there. Look on the left. Whoa! No, we actually hit a jackpot, bro. <laughs> they're safe in their car and still nervous as one of the gators hungrily moves forward. Oh, he is. He is! Yeah, yeah, dude, he's trying to, yep, yeah, he's trying to eat us. Tell me if you think this gator is looking for a meal or looking to protect its territory. I'm just look, guessing. look, 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 watch, watch. If he moves this way, 100%. Oh, he is. Oh, oh, he is, he is, he is. A city skyline is interrupted by a tiny white pea-sized circular object that goes racing by. It's not an insect because it looks too large in proportion to the drone itself. Some say this could be a tiny spaceship full of creatures, but I think that's kind of a stretch. Someone else suggested this could be a pellet, and I agree this is a possibility. If that's what it was though, then there probably would have been more than one coming at the drone. Whatever this is, 
It never appeared again, and nobody has been able to solve this mystery since June 21st of 2019. A YouTuber named Bloodzack12 is investigating a forest that's supposedly haunted. He and his friends don't see anything for a long time until they come across some weird discarded opera mask laying on top of an old dirty clothes pile. A short distance away, they find another opera mask hanging up in the trees. They decide to take this one home and study it for clues. They are talking about what to do next when Bloodzack12 notices something hunched over in front of them. Someone dressed in all black looks up at them from the thickets and then gives a short chase. I have a hard time believing this video is real because of the movie-like sound effects and timing, but I guess it is possible. Let me know if you think they were genuinely being chased by some maniac lurking in the woods or if the third person person was just a friend. What goes up must come down. Posted by V Fieldson on TikTok as Fieldson walks beside a house, capturing a bicycle lying in the middle of the sidewalk. He pulls the shot upright, catching the roof of the house in frame. Someone is up there watching him. The watcher appears to be filming him too. At least he seems to be holding something with a light on. He rushes from view and darkness envelopes him. Of course, this is TikTok, so that's where the clip ends. However, as we know, what goes up must come down. After all, he's got to come down from that rooftop eventually. A vaguely human shape stands on the other side of a sliding glass door without making a sound. The faint outline never tries to get in, just hangs around the door for a while only to walk away. Apparently, this has been repeatedly happening for the past month, but nothing has ever been on the other side. I wish they would have opened the door to prove that this wasn't a friend of theirs messing with them, but I understand why they wouldn't want to put themselves at risk. Besides whatever this is, it doesn't really have much of a form, and I think I can see a smooth, flat surface where the face should be. It hardly looks human. Outside of Flint, Michigan, this scary video, filmed by Redditor Phil S. Trout, could potentially be extraterrestrials coming down to Earth. I'm trying to drive right now. I'm focus. That's one of the strangest unidentified flying object captures I've ever seen. First, it appears to have three lights. Then, after his camera shifts and returns to the unidentified flying object, there are even more. Most in the comments think it's just an airplane, and to be honest, when it appears at the end on the right, I have to agree. It does look like an airplane with its landing lights on to me. Others say it's an unidentified flying object mimicking an airplane. Well, I think that's a stretch. It's still within the realm of possibility. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.